So I started my company over 13 years ago with my first product, the River Raider Snorkel System. Now, fast forward, we're building a custom Unimog for Bill Stein suspension, and the first thing that has to go is the factory snorkel. It's a little rough around the edges, a little oversized, it doesn't really provide the airflow that this vehicle really needs. So Jake is gonna borrow a few parts from our production snorkel bin, weld them together to form the new snorkel for the Bill Sign project. So the factory snorkel on this, it's old, outdated, it's bulky. You can see all the weld seams and the pinch seam in this. So we're gonna remove it. We're gonna put in our River Raider style snorkel with a mushroom cap. It's all gonna be made out of three inch mandrel bent tubing. We blend all of our weld seams and it'll all look like one piece and completely seamless. So now we're gonna turn our attention to the front end of our Unimog project. This factory cross member is interfering with the space we wanna put our worn wench in. We're gonna go ahead and cut it out and replace it with this new cross member that's gonna be flush with the front grill. That's gonna allow us to tuck everything in nice and tight in the front end for a really nice approach angle. So the, their old cross member was too close to the front of the frame. For us to be able to put our front bumper on there and fit a big winch, so I ended up cutting that one out and then putting a new cross member closer to the engine. Then I filled all the holes on the outside and flush ground them so you'd never be able to tell there's even a cross member there. So we decided we wanted to reuse the factory Mercedes Unimog wheels. Once we stripped off the factory Mercedes wheels, we sent them out for blast and powder coating. After our wheels came back, we mounted them up on a set of 47 inch Pitbull growlers. These things are huge, and they're gonna look absolutely amazing on this Bill Stein project. So the bed for the Unimog, we decided we were gonna put a canopy in. We kicked around a couple ideas on what we wanted to do. We ended up going with two inch tubing. I'm not one that wants to cut a hundred times and weld it a hundred times and try to blend it. So we got one big stick and we put it on our hooth tubing bender. With the precision that our hooth bender gives us, that allowed us to make up exactly how we wanted the first bar. And we can lay the first bar right on top and mirror image everything. So we had two exact bent bars for this canopy and everything turned out exactly square. Everything was right where it needed to be for this canopy that's going to be going on it. When we started cleaning down, there was a lot of pinholes, a lot more rust came to surface. Personally, I didn't feel comfortable just slapping new Bondo over it. I'd rather take the extra step and, and do things right. So that way it lasts for another, you know, 40, 50 years. We replaced anything that was rotten and put in all new and sealed everything so we won't have no issues with it. So now that all the sheet metal work has been repaired on our Unimog body, we're gonna go ahead and remove it from the frame and send it off to paint. Now that our frame is fully exposed, we can see what kind of damage has been done over the last 45 years of use and abuse on this chassis. First thing we're gonna do is grind out all of the rust, clean this thing up, get rid of everything we don't need, and refresh this entire chassis. 